Hello, 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 everyone. How's everybody doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm here with you. I'm here with you. I'm here with you. Hoping and wishing that you're all doing so wonderful. It's really important that we all feel our best every day. But it's not possible that we're going to feel like that at every moment. Because, you know, as we know, things will happen, will come our way. Situations, people, things may just come our way that we may not like. And, you know, may kind of like get us a little shaky. <laughs> you know, get us a little upset or, you know, not so. We may not be so happy about them. But, you know what? It's our job to feel at our best. And, you know... I myself, I'm not feeling all bubbly and cheery and happy all day long. I wish I was, and I try my best to do so, but there are times and moments that I'm just not, and I'm just, you know, upset, and, you know, I have my little moods, too, and, you know, I have kids, I have teenagers, and for those of us who know, well, we know, those of us mamas out there, well, you know what it's like to have teenagers, and so... Ooh, ooh, just like they get under my skin sometimes. I know I get on their skin sometimes too because I'm mama. And I, I try to set rules and, you know, teenagers don't like to hear it. So, anyway, I just wanted to come on here to speak a little bit about being. Who are we being? That's what came to mind right before I started to record this I was like what am I going to talk about what am I going to share because I really wanted to come on here and share something and I usually have something to say but at the moment I was like to be or not to be that is the question and that is what I'm going to be talking about to be or not to be right and like I was saying we can be happy or we can be upset but who are we being it's really up to us it's really our choice and that's the beauty of life. That's the beauty of being. We're human beings. We be, right? We become. Every day we become. If we're not evolving, if we're not growing, if we're not learning in life, well, then we're just remaining stagnant. And we're just existing. We're not really living. I say, you know, yes, there are those quiet moments that we need to ourselves to really just you know not do too much but we're still being maybe we're being in our mind or in our heart even space you know but as long as we're always doing something you know to benefit our well-being to elevate our mind to inspire our soul to um what is it um, not only elevate my, our mind, but also to stimulate our senses, you know, to help us to appreciate our life and the moments that we can enjoy in this lifetime are the moments that we should be looking forward to. And those are the times that we can say, yes, I'm happy. Yes, I feel good. Yes. You know, we attempt to do that for most of the time, for most of the people that we're with, you know. And try not to react so much about, you know, situations that happen and people that say things. We try not to do that so much. But, you know, people are people. So why, you know, wah, wah, wah. I don't even know the words to that song. But people are people. We're people. And, you know, we're going to act and feel and we're going to do. And so I'm just saying, you know, let us just be at our best, you know, and try to become more of what we've wanted to become in life you know become and be that person that we imagine ourselves to be when we wake up and and if we when we imagine ourselves at our best when we imagine ourselves to be at our best for that day what do we look like how are we feeling you know what are we wearing are we happy of course we're happy right so that's what we want to do we want to be happy we want to feel good we want to feel love we want to feel loved we want to give love we want to share you know those are the times when we're at our best I would say personally right because 
anyone who's upset or dwelling on this or that, well, then we're really not living our best life, I would say, you know. We can be analytical at times, you know, with things that happen. And, you know, yes, we can, you know, do our little, hmm, I wonder why that's happening. And, you know, but if we're always there tripping and wondering about so-and-so, what are they doing? Why are they doing this to me? Well, it's just... That's not being anything but upset and living in their world, living in other people's world. Let's not live other people's lives and other people's world. Let's live in our life and live it the best that we can. And whatever people say, let them say it. Let them say it. Let them, let it, let them get that off their chest. They may need to do that. They may need to just, you know, vent. And you may just be the body. <laughs> sometimes I do that. Sometimes I vent. I'm not like, I don't yell at my kids or, you know, I'm not yelling at them or anything. But sometimes I have like thoughts in my mind and they'll, they'll be some, you know, one of my kids will be there um, in front of me, you know, we'll be doing something in the house and something will come up and I'll, all of a sudden I'll just be like, you know, look at them in their eyes and I'll be real serious in my thought and talking about it. And they're like looking at me like, you know, well, why are you telling me, you know? And it's like a thought, you know, just a general thought that crosses my mind that I'm thinking of that it's really deep within me, but I have to speak on it. And since they're right there, you know, I'll be talking to them and I'll, I'll be like, well, you're the body, you're the body, you know, that gets to hear my thought. <laughs> so anyway, like I was saying, um, let us let us just be, you know, let us be the person that we want to be, you know. Let 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 anybody and whoever wants to say and vent. Sometimes like I said, sometimes we're the body, you know, they just need a body to vent to, you know. They can't just think about whatever they're contemplating about or whatever's bothering them in their mind, but they have to speak on it. So they feel like if you know someone is present there, you know, um it may feel better, you know, by complaining to someone, it feels better, you know, so it's never personal. It's never personal what people go through and when people complain and when people lash out, unless it's something against you that you personally did, right? But it's never really personal when someone just speaks out and is upset and, you know, you haven't done anything to them, right? And say you, you confront them and you're talking and all of a sudden they start speaking in a way that, you know, it's just... It doesn't go with, with what you, you know, the vibe that you guys have been putting out to one another. And all of a sudden they, you know, they're lashing out or they, you know, something's going on. Excuse me. Something's going on within them. Obviously, it's not personal. Never take it personal. Always remember that we're like a mirror. We're like a mirror to others. And others are like a mirror to us too. So when we get upset and we lash out. They're raising the mirror to us. If we ever tell anybody or we're pointing the finger or we're saying, you're this or you're that or we're insulting to someone, guess what? We're, we're probably the ones who are this and who are that. We're pointing the finger and like they say, look, three are pointing back. You point one finger, three are pointing back. And so we want to just be ourselves and be busy within our own lives. Let people do and say and react in their own way. Let them be busy in their life. Let us be busy in our own life. And let us just, you know, take care of ourselves. Take care of our own body. Don't worry about what people are eating. Don't worry about what people are doing. You know, we can set the example and we can show, you know, like for instance, someone who doesn't like fruit or something, for instance, or, you know, something that you don't like or, or that they don't like or, you know, they're not happy. Oh, you shouldn't be eating that or, you know, that's not good for you or I never liked that and yuck, you know, that's gross. If you were around them and you were eating that and you were like, mmm, this is so good, you know, and you did that, did that all the time, if you set the example, I bet you that they would probably ask you for some, even if you did that to them all the time. So imagine sharing with someone your good vibes. Imagine sharing with someone the good times in your life. Imagine just being, becoming that person, you know, imagine just becoming that person that you naturally are imagine just vibing to love imagine just vibing to the goodness and to just you know living your best life and living that way all the time living in that frequency of goodness and love and and all that good stuff when you live like that you share your experiences with others by just living and so what are we being every day what are we becoming every day are we 
continuing to live on and learn and feel and experience? Or are we stuck in a rut thinking and contemplating about our problems from yesterday, from a week ago, from people who did me wrong when I was in high school? My goodness. People who walked my path. Oh, look how they looked at me. Oh, why are they staring at me? Well, guess what? Uh, <laughs> something to say about that real quick. I, I just, you know... I remember when we were in high school, we used to do that. Look how she looked at you. Oh, did you see how she was looking at you? Blah, blah, blah. That was in high school. Well, you know what? I, I say this. If people, if you notice people staring at you, well, guess what? You're probably staring at them too. What are you doing observing them all that hard for? They're staring at you. You're staring at them. You guys are having a little stare off. Come on now. That's, that's high school stuff. We don't need to play those little games. Let them look. Say, hey, what's up, you know? Good to see you. Kill them with love, baby. Kill them with love. Or you know what? Let them look and just mind your own business. Minding your own business is just being busy in our own life. Being busy in what we're doing, you know? Not observing what everybody's busy doing in their own life, you know? If it's not affecting us in any way, let them do whatever they want. If they look happy doing it, hey, they're happy. Let them. Is it hurting anyone? Is it hurting you? Is it hurting your family? No. And if it isn't, let them. Let them. Let them. You know, I know sometimes people like to expose themselves in different ways and just put out their things that we may not find appropriate. But guess what? If it's not affecting us in any way, then let them live their life. Let people live their life. And if we can't handle being around them because they're like that one, let us get out of our way. Let us get out of their way. You know, let us get out of their way. They're, they're not going to move. So, hey, I'm not feeling this vibe. I got to get out of this vibe. Why don't we become the ones to move? You know, make the change. We don't always have to wait around for people to do things, you know. Oh, they need to get out of my life. Let us get out of their life. Get out of their life. You know? We have to make the changes that we want in our life. We have to be what we want to be. We want to be happy. Well, then we need to go in that vibe. We need to be in that vibe. We need to live in that vibe. We want to live uh, whatever way we want to live. If we want to live pissed off all for the rest of our life, then be pissed off. If you want to be mad at your neighbor and cuss them out every day, well, do that. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Your neighbor will probably cuss you back out and you won't live a happy life in your neighborhood. I'm not recommending you do that at all. I'm saying if your neighbor is doing something, you know, even if they cuss you out, you know, be that mirror. Lift up the mirror to your neighbor. Say, hey, neighbor, guess what? Mm -mm. Don't let it bother you. Put it in front of the face, you know, and, and ignore, mm -hmm. you know, just lift it. And everything that they're saying it's just going to bounce right back to them. It's They're talking about themselves. Don't let it be personal. It's not personal. It's never personal. We just need to be the ones to be in control of our reactions, of our, of our emotions. We have to live, you know, in control of our emotions. Because otherwise, people and things are always going to have control over us. And not good that's not good at all when we allow people to have control over our emotions you know we we go on living our lives you know thinking forever about the girl in high school and how she you know messed with you or you know did this or that to you and then you're not happy and oh my gosh you know she did you know let that shit go let it go and just live your life and live the way you want to live live their happy good life and send out good vibes and if people can't handle it well then too bad for them too bad for them. You just go on doing the things you want to do. And you make the best of your situations. You know, be who you want to be. Live the life that you want to live. Live happy and carefree. And take a deep breath every once in a while. And just, you know, it can get tough. Like I had mentioned to you guys before. Life can get tough, but we're tougher. We need to just breathe. Go outside. Get, the, get some sunshine. You know, take a little cruise, open up your windows, get in some of that fresh air from the mountains, from the ocean, from just outside, you know. And for those of you who do have a car, drive into the hills, drive into, you know, nature, drive into the greens. 
Get out of the smog. Get out of the city and see everything. That's something I do recommend for you guys. Fresh air from the countryside. I love going into the countryside. It is so beautiful in the forest. You know, like in areas where you can go and camp. If anybody's gone camping, oh, you guys know what I'm talking about. I love to go like in those camping areas where it's so fresh and you feel the fresh breeze. You feel the fresh air from the mountains. Ah, and you're able to breathe it all in and your lungs feel so good and you feel so, so good after you've already like hiked or whatever because usually it's like hiking areas around there. That's what I like to do. And that's something that I do recommend that you guys do. Go outside. Go get some fresh air. Get some good vibes going within your life and get some inspiration going and get inspired to become someone. Get inspired to become someone that is at their best your best be at your best always try to you know overcome these situations that come and go overcome them you can do it vibe high baby vibe high when you're vibing high and you're around people who are low you can inspire them to come up to and raise and elevate be who you are just Oh, you know, love life, love life. And people will love life too around you. And you can both have a party together. Ooh, 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 party together. When two people are vibing together at the same time, it's like a party. Hey, hey. And who doesn't like a good party, right? Ooh, 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 ooh. That's right. Let's do this. Do life. Live life, baby. Do it up. Do it your way. Do it your way. Only you know what you like. Only you know how you feel good. Do what you like and feel good. Be healthy. When you eat good foods and you're healthy and you do all the good things that you're supposed to be doing when you're moving around and you know, you're motivated and you're elevated and you're inspired and you're all those good things. Man, that's living your best life. Then you're inspired to feel good and to do good things for yourself. And that is a party in itself. You're born every day. Remember that. Make good choices for yourself. That's the beauty of life. That we have choices. That's so beautiful. We have choices. Let us make the good choice to live a happy life. And to feel good. And to spread the good vibes, baby. Spread the good vibes, baby. Okay? Live your beautiful life. No matter what you do, always give yourself the best. Always give yourself big hugs. And a big hug from me to you. God bless you. Take care of yourself. Be good to one another. Good vibes. Peace. Love. Hasta la vista, baby. See you soon. Good vibes. Elevate my mind. Inspire me. Inspire me. Elevate my mind. Bring it. Bring it. Show me what you got. You guys inspire me so much when I look at your videos. All my mentors out there that just keep it going, keep it moving, keep it rocking, keep it flowing. Just keep the my heart palpitating. Boop, 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 boop. Every time I see you, you're so inspiring and you just <sighs> inspire me to also be a better person. Thank you so much. May your guardian angels be with you. Jehovah God, Jesus, be good to yourself. Hasta la vista. See you soon.